Hello, I'm Mark Brooks, and well, welcome to my channel. Tonight, the Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club is hosting a star party at Oasis State Park, New Mexico, just north of Portales. Here we have both the uh, president and vice president setting up their telescopes. We have what looks like uh, three telescopes being set up, and shortly I will get their uh, description of scopes. Clear skies. We have the uh, crescent moon in the uh, western sky. Close, close by is the planet Venus. You see right now we've got Venus in the center of the uh, video. So very lucky we'll, we will view, view the moon tonight. So let's take a look at our scopes. So this is Gary, our vice president. He's, again, this, uh, this is a uh, to tell us, tell us a view. So you can plug solar cells into it and try to get scope. Is it, does it have the automatic setting feature? Yeah, once I get set up. Yeah, once you get aligned. Which is what I have a lot of work to do left. But yeah, this is an AM5 mount. It's currently configured in Altaz mode. Mm -hmm. It also can be configured in EQ mode, but Altaz is easier for visual astronomy. Um, this will be the main camera tonight. It'll, be, it'll plate saw of different targets. Mm -hmm. And well, everything will be lined up so I can I see them visually through this telescope. Well, okay. I mean, when, you, when you do, is the old days okay. used to happen, and now you can put it right yeah. on here and look at it. And, well, I got to use a computer. Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, yeah. uh, star view, I mean, sea star uh, uh, telescope, which is very compact and very remarkable what it, how it uh, sets itself and uh, takes good images. This is a Royal Club president. Yeah, this, this, is is my, a, uh, this is my imaging rig without an imaging telescope. Yeah, Starbright XLT. Yeah, it's a Celestron. Yeah. Nine and a quarter inch uh, Schmidt Cassegrain. Green. Nine and a quarter. It's an equatorial mount or? Yeah, this is a Paramount MIT. I've had this at the library several times. Okay. Yeah, first time I've seen this scope. Being used? Yeah, this is my mic. I've had it out a couple times, but it doesn't get a lot of use. Okay. Hey, time for gas is on. The skies are getting darker. And later on, we should have more gas showing up. Usually, a lot of small uh, young families will still show up too. Right now, the sky is almost completely dark, and so far, we got one uh, young family who's shown up to. Get used. We're still having a little difficulty getting the uh, scope set up, so very shortly we'll be showing some images and some viewing. Good thing about it is it's pretty, it's rock steady. It, it, you're you're going to get it in the center. Okay, we're going to try to view Saturn in this scope. Is it really? Um, I mean, where's Mars? Where's Mars? Well, earlier, the last couple of weeks, we tried to test it on. Oh, just got it. Just got it. Okay, see how it turns out. Here I'm going to get Saturn through Roy scope, the larger scope with the uh, equatorial mount. As much light as you can get. Just had it, just had it. That's the best I can do. That was a decent star party. Uh, small turnout. You know, we had one family and a few other guests show up. But I got some decent views of uh, Saturn and the and its uh, largest moon, Titan, the largest moon. And next week we'll have our uh, uh, library uh, view viewing event. We'll be at the local library to uh, view the moon. And of course, I'll be there uh, recording a video of it. So uh, look forward for that. And uh, thanks for watching.